One morning, Oliver arrived at Arlesdale. I've got it, shouted Frank. Whoa! Oh, Mike, look out! Sorry, Bert. Whoa, what's going on with you guys? We've barely had any work to do. Yes, the holiday season's been over for about a month now, and we don't have any passengers. And there's not a lot of goods work either. Most of the farms are shut down. It's been extremely boring lately. Oh, I can imagine that. There's just nothing for us to do. Hmm, I'll see what I can do. Maybe bring some more passengers or something. Oh, that would be lovely for all of us. And Oliver left. Later that afternoon, a few of the engines were resting in the yard. Ah, oh, man, I wish there was something to do. Well, there is a supply run up to the farm. Ooh, I'd like to do it. Too late, Frank, I'm already on it. And Mike left with the train. Wait a minute, Jock, why weren't you taking that goods train? Because I have a passenger train to pull. Goodbye, Frank. As Jock left, Rex arrived. Ah, uh, hello, Rex. Hi, Frank. What's got you down? Well, it seems everyone's able to keep busy except me. Hmm. I take it you're bored? Quite. Well, I'm pretty sure they need someone to shun some trucks up at the ballast mines. Ooh, I'll gladly do that. All right, then. We'll better get going. Frank arrived at the ballast mines to find Bert. Oh, hello, Frank. Hello, Bert. I was told they needed a shunter here. There's another ballast train going out pretty soon. You can take that if you want. All right, then. Where do I start? Just shun some trucks, fill them with ballast, and you're ready to go. I've got to get going now. Goodbye. Frank quickly got to work, wasting no time, but the yardmaster got his attention. Frank, we need you. What is it, sir? He asked. Mike's broken down up at the farm. We'll need you to go and rescue him. Don't worry, sir. I'm on it, he said, and Frank left. Mike had burst a safety valve at the platform, and Frank arrived just in time. Oh dear, Mike. Looks like you've broken down. Shut up and help me, Frank. All right, all right. No need to be rude. Frank quickly coupled up to Mike's train, and together they left. Unfortunately, they hadn't been on the line that long when they encountered Rex. Oh dear, Rex. What happened to you? It's not funny, Mike. I went off the rails because I was going too fast. Can we be of assistance? asked Frank. Oh, why yes, that would be lovely. Bert brought the crane here, but it would be nice if you guys could take me back to the workshop. Oh, I don't think Frank can push you and me, plus my train. Well, he sure is a little diesel with a big will. Well, sometimes there's not a way, even if there's a will. Well, Mike, it's going to be fun to prove you wrong for once. Huh, <laughs> that'll be the day. All right, you two, cut the chatter and get me buffered up. Eventually, Bert arrived to help get Rex's trucks on the rails, and Frank was ready to start pushing. Okay, everyone, here we go. Oh, God, this is going to end in disaster. Shut up, Mike. Good luck, Frank, whispered Bert. You've got this. Thank you, Bert. I know I can. And with a mighty heave, Frank got the entire cavalcade moving. The train was heavy, and Frank struggled, but he kept moving on. Eventually, they made it back to Arlesdale, where Jock was watching in amazement. Frank got the train to a stop. Huh. Oh, I, I did it. Oh my goodness, Frank, did you really just get all that here by yourself? Meanwhile, over at the platform, Douglas and Duck were watching in amazement. Oh, hi. Good job, Frank. Oh, thank you, Douglas. Huh, I can't believe he actually did that. Me neither, but I'm glad he was able to. Wow, Frank, that was truly amazing. Yes, Frank, congratulations. Three cheers for Frank. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hooray. And Frank had never been prouder.